Vicky Palladino scrutinized the intentions of immigrants voicing grievances about the city's housing provisions. But I'd like to say this. In listening to everybody speak and making demands on New York City to do more, more, more. How much more are we supposed to do? How much more are we capable of doing? This system is so overworked and overburdened. We don't have the resources that you need to get what you what you need. I mean, your testimonies move me tremendously. I don't want to see anybody mistreated in any sort of way. I have to ask you, what motivated you to come here thinking the streets are paved with gold? They're not. They're absolutely not. And you're living through that. Now, we've watched many different people come across this border. The people who have come across Council this Member border have come across this border illegally. Council Member Palladino, yes. do you have a question for the I, panel? Because we have to move on. Interpreted as a critique of qualifications and the impractical expectations, it implies that immigrants shouldn't anticipate opulent accommodations or boundless resources within the city. Within Vicky Palladino's inquiry, there are undertones of accountability and decision making. It's about individual discernment and navigating freedom and confronting the confines of circumstances and how immigrants grapple with their anticipations versus reality in their newfound homeland. That's the essence of the American dream. Vicky Palladino is perceived as voicing concern regarding the strain on New York City's resources and infrastructure. It could be construed as an acknowledgement of the necessity for responsible governance to prioritize resource allocation, addressing practical limitations and pressing needs. Vicky Palladino underscores the significance of individual accountability and self-reliance while showing empathy towards those encountering hardships. Her statements also imply a call for resilience and fortitude in the face of adversity.